This is going to be incredibly fast because I'm holding the phone and it's not a very big, huge, long message, but it's probably one of the most vital ones that the Lord has led me to put out. Now, we're with me, Father God, and at all of you. Thank you, Kako Desh, Holy Ghost. I love you. Amen. When you're humbled by the Lord, um, meaning He takes you takes you through something to get you to a certain level of wisdom that you will only receive after coming out of an experience the experiences and the things that you encounter through life isn't always or most times never about the other person or anybody else or any other situation is usually about what you're going through in your life and what you need to experience in your life in other words no matter if somebody's taking you through the, the ringer or if, if an experience has flatlined your bank account or something you have experienced have gotten your mind in disarray, whatever it is, look at it from the perspective of what am I supposed to learn from this? At the minimum, it's patience. At the minimum, it is endurance. At the minimum, it is strength. All the other attributes that you get from these experiences truly does come from these experiences. When you get caught up in thinking like, well, this person probably going through this or that person is going through, you know, they, they crazy or, or this person, is just, they just don't like me or, or this person just don't get me. It's not about them. If you look at it from their perspective, then you're all up in their journey. But when you look at it from the perspective that God wants you to see from your journey, then you'll look at it from an aspect of what am I supposed to learn from this Lord? And whatever it is, you'll get it. See, this journey is personal. It's not about others. When you make it about others, oh, well, I'm going to watch all my enemies fall. Or I'm going to be vindicated of all of them. Yeah, and all of that can be true. But what were you learning in that process? If you're not learning anything from it, then you are just going through it for nothing. Most times, if somebody, even if something is like grabbing you and bringing you down, how are you handling it? Are you handling it with love? Are you handling it with patience? Are you doing this with kindness? Are you doing this with faith in God? No matter what you see, you're going to take it inside of you to realize that it's something in you that could just be healed. Even though that person could be all the way off and not receiving what they're supposed to be receiving from God, it's still not about them. Anytime you make your journey about someone else or anytime you force somebody else to be the reason you're going through something, you've missed the point. I am realizing it more than ever. Everything about my life has to be made personal between me and God, meaning what is he doing in my life through this person, through this experience, through that heartbreak, through that letdown. It, 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 Whatever is involving them is them and their journey. And if they don't learn from their journey, you can't force it. But stay out of their business and get into yours. Because God uses even your worst experiences for your good. Because he only chastises the ones he loves. I hope this has helped somebody because it has truly helped me. Let's just stay focused on what we are to learn from the experience from our perspective. Even when it involves somebody else. Even when they're coming against you. Even when they're talking against you. Even when... It's a company, even if it's a business that's coming against you. Whatever it is, stop making it about them. It's about you. At the minimum, you're being taught patience. When you ask, you shall receive. It don't always come in the way that you have expected it to be. Let's look at it from a personal experience between us and God and leave the others as just a basic actor or actress in your play. In other words, sit at the front seat of your life and look at how you're reacting. Look at what you're doing. Maybe God is teaching you to keep your mouth closed. Maybe he's teaching you to speak up for yourself more. I can't answer that. Only God can. Put it back in God's hands and take it out of yours and stop worrying about what other people are doing to you and, and, and about you and, and in reference to you because it's still only being used for your good. It's about how you look at it and less about what they are doing. They are only being used to teach the lessons that you need. At the minimum, it is to learn how to trust God and to build your relationship with him. And then when you establish what it is and you master it by holding on to his hand and doing the things that he wants us to do, that's when your fruit will produce. But only until then. Otherwise, you're going in circles. Break, the, break that chain and learn from it. In the name of Jesus, amen.
May the peace of I'm only one hand. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee and make his face to shine upon thee and to be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Have a beautiful day. Make it about less about them and more about you. Keep your eyes on him and not on them. Amen.